Uh, in this video we'll discuss in some depth uh, how to write a custom AJAX callback that uh, executes some alpha DAO commands to um, uh, execute SQL commands on a backend database. And in this example over here, uh, which is somewhat contrived, we're going to basically uh, delete a record from this uh, table if there are more than five other records uh, from the same state as the customer uh, in the current row. So uh, I know that uh, in this particular case in New Hampshire there are less than five other records. So when I press this uh, button over here, you can see we get a message back saying that we can't delete this record because um, there are less than five records. On the other hand, uh, for Massachusetts, I know that there are more than five records. So you can see now there are 54 records and record number seven is uh, Leanne Medeiros. So when I click the button, you can see there it says record was deleted and, uh, and now we've basically gone down. Uh, by one record and that record for number seven has disappeared. So um, the way that the delete happened was we made a custom AJAX callback uh, to the server and then the server executed some alpha DAO commands to to delete the record. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll now go and take a look at the XBasic behind this uh, custom AJAX callback and then uh, in the next step we'll show how you can add um, a prompt uh, um, to confirm that you want to actually delete the record. So you, for example, let's go here and find another Massachusetts record. Um, um, actually, if I sort by state, I'll find it more easily. And now if I go to this record and delete, you can see now we get a prompt uh, confirming that we want to delete. And I can go here and say cancel and that will abort the delete. So we'll look then in the next step at how we actually go ahead and, and put that prompt in to ask for confirmation. But first let's look at the uh, XBasic behind this function, be behind this button over here. So let's go now to fields and look at this button and we'll see that uh, what we've written over here for this button is a custom AJAX callback that is going to call a function called low level delete. Now we've also checked this uh, checkbox here that says compute current row data and the reason that we've done that is that um, this grid is not an editable grid so by default uh, when you do a custom AJAX callback on a non-editable grid, it only sends back the primary key for the current row. But if you check that uh, compute current data row, then it'll send back um, um, all of the data for the current row. Uh, or actually more correctly, um, after that callback takes place on the server side, uh, we'll compute the data for the current row based on the primary key that was sent back. So let's go now um, and uh, put a, a debug one statement into that function so we can debug into it. So you can see here we're calling an XBasic function called low level delete. So let's uh, now go to low level delete. So here's our XBasic function declarations. And there's our function low level delete. And let's put a, uh, um, a debug one statement into the uh, XBasic so we can debug into it. Now the debug one is going to open up the debugger uh, if we execute this command in working preview. Uh, but if you run it live in live preview then you can't debug because you can't debug in a background thread but working preview runs in the foreground thread so you can debug into it and that's really one of the huge advantages of working preview while you're um, building a web application. So let's pause here and pick this up in the next video.